uh, uh, about the, the, what is going on in the world. Uh, we need to look for alternative media. We need to look for, well, I, I applaud programs like this, which uh, give us viewpoints that you will not get on NBC or CBS. I, I applaud uh, Amy Goodman's Democracy Now! and, and David Barsamian's uh, Alternative Radio and, and Pacifica and all those attempts to bring uh, information to the public which it does not get from the corporate media. We have one last call. Camdenton, Missouri, you're on the air. Hello, yes. Um, uh, so according to you, in the last 60 years or so, there's a vast conspiracy among all of the, our legislature, our government, that we're going to do everything wrong and we're going to do everything we can to diminish the United States in everything we do. We don't, we don't have a, a government in Vietnam. We don't have a government in Germany, et cetera. We help these people. And George Bush in the last four years has not ruined education and health care and whatever. It, there is no vast conspiracy to ruin the United States. Are you a communist? <laughs> are they, uh, uh, there are two questions there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the second one. No, I'm not a communist. Uh, you, you know, I'm a member of the Communist Party and so on. I, I thought that was a question that uh, left us a long time ago. Uh, I believe in a kind of socialism. I believe in democratic socialism. Uh, and uh, I believe that the that resources of the of the society should be more equally distributed among the people. And everybody's entitled to certain basic things. And, you know, you can call that whatever you like, but, uh, you know, I think that would be a good society. I believe in a peaceful world. Uh, I don't believe in war. Uh, and, uh, again, you can give an... Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Looks like we lost Howard Zinn. It was satellite time at the top of the hour. Uh, and I apologize to him. Uh, he can't hear me probably now, and it's certainly the callers. But we were out of time and did not expect it to be cut off automatically at 10 o'clock. Anyway, that was a surprise. Uh, tomorrow on the Saturday program at 7.30, Kenneth Roth, Human Rights Watch Executive Director. Topic is his group's annual report of human rights worldwide. 9 o'clock, Judge Edward Becker, U.S. Court of Appeals, Third Circuit, creation of the Asbestos Trust Fund. At 9.30, Shaza uh, Nzingla, National Alliance of Black Panthers, National Chairwoman. She'll be here to talk about the participation of counter-inaugural activities. Sunday, David Kay will be here at 7.45, the uh, former weapons, chief weapons inspector. 9 o'clock, Senator Sam Brownback, Republican of Kansas. And Kareem Qatar uh, al Muzawi, Supreme Council for Islamic Revolution in Iraq will be here at 9.30 on Sunday. A busy weekend, 6.30 Saturday night, the Scalia-Briar discussion from American University, and you all have a nice weekend, and again, apologies to Howard Zinn. Coming up, a preview of the Iraqi elections. We'll talk with Professor Noah Feldman of New York University. Then another chance to see author and historian Howard Zinn. And later, Ken Bazinet of the New York Daily News looks back at his work covering the presidential race. Also today on C-SPAN, officials from the Weather Service, the U.S. Geological Survey, and the National Science Foundation discuss creation of a tsunami early warning system. That's live at noon Eastern. Then outgoing NASA Administrator Sean O'Keefe on the future of space exploration and a timetable for return to manned missions. Live coverage at 1 p.m. Eastern. Today on C-SPAN 2, the Women's Legal Alliance looks at women candidates. We'll hear from Kim Gandy, president of NOW, Winsome Sears, and Lisa Marie Cheney, both Republican candidates in recent elections. Also a speech by Representative Stephanie Herseth of South Dakota. 